So this is a part two to my trigger method video. If you haven't seen my first one, it's a defense video. If you haven't seen my first one, it'll be a link in the description to get you right to it after this video. Cause there's some things I didn't say in that video that I'm gonna say in this video and vice versa. So if you wanna see that, go check that out. It'll be in the description after the end of the video, go watch that. Also, in that video, something that I'm gonna restate in this video is the fact that 2K will never ever give you every different defensive stop. You will never get a perfect stop. Like you will never have that day where everything you want, you get. This is a game. Remember, it's a game. You got to have fun, but always remember that. So if you want to have fun, remember that. Because when things happen that you didn't want to happen because it was 2K, remember, it's just a game. You having fun. You already knew that was going to happen. But there will be times where you clamp everybody up. And that's what I'm here to allow you to do. If you're somebody who want to have fun on the game, but you don't know too many ways of how to do it because you're not on the game as much as you could be, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to put you on to so many different things that I have found that make the game a lot more fun for me and make me want to play the game a lot more than I have been before. Subscribe, man. So the method I use is called the trigger method. The trigger method involves using both triggers to play defense is not something that's too hard it's very easy and as soon as you start doing it you'll find immediate results like there will immediately a big difference between the way i play defense and the way you probably play it now or the reason why you searching a video like this up is because you need a little bit more help on defense because something going on where 2k is making you do something completely different than you want to do but the downside to this is you have to sweat a little bit yes you have to sweat a little bit but and sweating takes away some of the fun out of a game and if you know my videos like I'm all about having fun like you gotta have fun to play this game but the thing is life has told us the things that bring us the most joy are the things we work the hardest for so when you start using this method you start using the trigger method and you start clamping people up and you ain't getting blow by you You'll have it every once in a while. But you you ain't getting cooked up as much as you used to. Everything is getting better. Like you seem like you you seen the results, like I'm saying. You'll be a lot happier. It's a lot more fun to clamp somebody up than get cooked all game. But let's get right into this tutorial. I'ma go to my mop court and I'ma show y'all some examples. Like it ain't gonna be the best examples, but I'ma also have gameplay. Like I had gameplay playing before this. And I'm going to cut to my mock court to show y'all specific ways of where I'm talking about. Like, it can go wrong or what is the difference between it and everything about that. And then after that, I'll have some gameplay that'll just show me going crazy. Getting things I know I would never got if I never did this method. Before we get into the method, the breakdown of it, comment your bill. I want to know more bills out here that people got. Cause I might have, I might be wanting to make your build, like comment your height and your weight. And that'll tell me more about the build than anything. Like tell me the name too. So when I go into my making the build process, I kind of know somewhat of what I want to reach. Also like the video. If you like this method that I'm about to explain when I, after I explain it, let me know by liking the video. Also, if you really want to see me go crazy, subscribe. So I can keep building my audience. I want to keep building up people who I want to listen, who I want to play the game and have fun, man. Let's build that community back up because right now it is not right there. But we will be the first. So on these examples in the my court, the first example I'm going to show you is me playing defense just regular, like an intense D regular defense where nobody really, that's how most people already play. Then the second example is going to be me using it the trigger method but i do it too much where i mess up and that's that's part of the process of learning it because you're gonna mess up a lot when you start doing this especially when you're not doing it against ai ai is easier to do it on obviously because they don't really do too many different moves but when it comes to people on the park and how they dribble and y'all already know if you play this game enough that side to side is very very hard to guard if you're just using intensity but then using this method, you'll be able to keep up with them a little bit. But if you go too far over, you will fly out the way and they will have an easy bucket. Like it'll be an easy dunk on for them or easy three or whatever. And then the third section 
I'll show you where I play good defense using it. Yeah, I'm not going to show you the best of it because it's an AI. That's why I have the gameplay to also back me up behind where I'm talking about. I even put in a gameplay of where I mess up and somebody just blow right past me. Or even times where 2K just is 2K. Like I told y'all at the beginning of this video, you're, you, to have fun, you got to always expect that you're not going to get every stop. 2K is going to be 2K. Or you just going to mess up on your own. Like it is what it is. You're, we're not here to be sweats all the time. My videos are not for that. My videos are to have fun. I am not a sweat. I know that. I know I'm trash. People call me trash all the time, but I be dropping people off. So I don't care. I do what I do. And I'm stay out of the way. So now you see how it moves. Now it's time for the breakdown. Using left trigger always is a thing. Intensity is the best thing that they put on the game. Everybody knows that, but everybody also knows it's still not fast enough to keep up with the meta. It's not fast enough to keep up with the meta dribbling on, on offense for them. It's not fast enough. But then 2K has a setting that takes it a step further where you hold the right trigger and it's called fast shuffle. I'm going to put it on the screen where it shows you. You just hold right and left trigger and slide and it moves a lot faster, which is true. But that method still isn't fast enough to keep up with the meta side to side. It, it's not. So my trigger method, the way I've learned, is if you tap the right trigger and hold left trigger at the same time, you just tap the right trigger though. You move a lot faster. Left trigger, left stick. Left trigger, left stick. Like you just, you will slide a lot faster than you would if you was just doing fast shuffle or if you was just using intensity. Let me know if this method helps you. If it helps you, subscribe. Comment in the comment section how good this method has helped you. Like how much, how many more stops have you got since you started using it? Let me know. I'm gonna make more videos like this about the trigger method because it keeps going deeper than just the surface of what I just scratched right there. For defensive builds, it's even deeper. Y'all get more things to this game than we are giving ourselves credit for because of the fact that nobody is really playing it enough to find out. But there's a lot of different things on this game that defensive builds have. And to your defense is not as weak as everybody say it is. It is not as weak as everybody say it is. Yes, like I've been restating, 2K is going to be 2K. But with this method, 2K is 2K a lot less than it is when before you was using this method. Let me know if you like this video. If you if this is your first time in the FBZ video, subscribe, man. I got more videos like this while I'm helping you out. I'm trying to put you on more stuff. I'm having fun on the game, so I want you to have fun. If you ain't doing that, you ain't doing nothing. Get better, not worse.